All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me get my blue goo out of the way. Um, today I'm just going to go over real quick this uh, barking chip. Um, it produces a, the sound of a barking dog. And uh, there's not too many, I don't, I don't know if there's any, I couldn't find any on YouTube on how to wire one of these up. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in on this chip. Uh, let me get to my, oh, the zoom is on. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Nope. There we go. That's a little better. But anyways, if you're looking at this, all right. Now, you got two spots up here, and they both have holes in it for a connection. Okay. And I'm going to walk you through this, but this far connection, if you're looking at the video, it's on the right-hand side. That's negative. The next one over is positive. That's your positive input. 3.5 to 4.5. Then you have a connection over here in this corner on the same side. Um, this is where your push button goes to, um, if you, you push the button, you just push it and let it go. It'll make the dog bark three times. And that push button, normally open push button, goes from this corner to, let me get something to point with here, because I don't want to get my finger in here. It goes from this corner to this little pad right here. There's a little tiny pad just outside of this circuit. That little tiny pad right there. You put a normally open button from here to this corner. And that's, that's how you make it bark. And then on the opposite side, the outside and the next one in are your speaker connections. All right. So it's positive. No, I'm sorry. Negative, positive. One side of your normally open switch. The other side of your normally open switch. And these two outer pads are for your speaker. So let's wire it up and let's see if we can make it bark. All right. So again, this outer one is negative this next one in you call the say the inner pad that's positive let me get my blue goo here to hold me in place and i'll solder that up <clears throat> uh oh I lost the power to my gun. Alright. So anyways, that'll be a second for my soldering gun to, gun to come back up to power. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to... I'm just going to do this, um, you know, I'm going to pretend this is the switch. It's just a wire. And I'm just going to put it on this corner. And I'll just wire it in there. And that way I'll just touch it over here and make it bark. And then what I got is I've got just a regular box speaker here. I wonder if I can pull that camera back out again. There we go. I just got a regular box speaker and I got a, a little um, 386 uh, amp on top of it. Just so we can hear the, the dog barking. And I'm just going to use a couple of jumpers onto it. Um, but we'll wire that up there. Okay. Hang on a second. I'm up to 370 degrees. I'm almost there. And I might as well, matter of fact, uh, let me see if I can just pop this on here real quick. And I'll put it back down in the goo. And just pop my speaker on. There we go. Alright, I'm up, 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 I'm up to 436. Let's see if we can solder. Just enough to tack her in there. That's tacked. We got that one tacked in.
Now it's tacked in. Fold that over. Okay, let's give it some power. So again, I got uh, negative positive. This is going to be my, my trip. And these two outer pads go to the amp. Or speaker, let's say. Yes. Give that some power. You strip these back a little bit. Okay. Ah, broke it off. I should just use jumpers. It broke off again. I'm cutting it too deep. Alright. It's positive. <laughs> My negative just broke off. Okay, so I got 3.5 volts on this. This thing can go up from 3.5 to 4.5. I got my speaker hooked up. Battery, so let's try it out. Uh, let's see, maybe it's this one. There we go. I'll touch it again. You touch it and it does it three times. As you can tell, my speaker is blown because it's not even, it's, it's uh, real raspy. One more time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you wire up a barking chip. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a schematic and I'll leave that down below. Or I'll leave a link to the schematic um, for this barking chip. So if you like to put a barking chip on an Arduino project, we'll just do it again. That'd make a pretty cool doorbell. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's it. The barking chip.